Hello my friends, today we're gonna see the first tutorial of the Java Visualizer series. We will see how to make an oscilloscope, a stereo oscilloscope from audio in Java. First of all, what I want from you is to go and download the code and the libraries from GitHub. Then I want to say that I'm going to use JavaFX for the user interface so you have to know a little bit about JavaFX and then on Eclipse you will create a new JavaFX project. For that you will need to have EFX clips installed. Okay, when you do that you will add the source folder with uh, this uh, packages here and then you will click here right click new source folder name it resources well yes I have created it and click OK add here the jar files and then add them to the build path OK so before starting showing you the code I'm gonna speak a little bit about the history of that code. So let's start with Java Zoom. If you search on the web about tutorials on how to make visualizer in Java, you will find from something um, not very specific to nothing. So uh, that's why I created this tutorial and um, the javazoom.net is a website which has some um, amazing libraries for Java so it can support mb3 format, uh, vorbis og format, wave, flag, au and um, opus which is a new format and other aac at so in this project I'm using some libraries like glayer for example which is for supporting mb3 format in Java. Well, the code now that we will use war was first found, let me check something, ok is recording, was first found into a project that the bros from javazoom.net have made that was named GL GUI which is a music player although it is very old. So what I have done is after researching uh, the code, searching the code from this player I have took a lot of um, lines of code and I have updated them so they are matching on Java 8. Of course I have added the license. So for example um, the stream player that we have here in the code of Eclipse is the original code from uh, the GL GUI here from one library of it which is named uh, let me see okay if you download the GL GUI you will find inside the library which is named basicplayer.jar so I took it, I took the code and I completely refactored it and uh, I am constantly updating it and I'm using it into XR Free Player which is an another application I am making. So this code is not completely bug free and it is constantly being updated. Okay, so let's start. Here it is the main class and I'm creating a window and with this line here from player example class I am playing a file from the local system. Well, what is the player example class? The player example class it is extending a stack pane which is a layout in JavaFX and uh, it is containing 
a vis the visualizer here which we are using and an instance of a stream player which we are using to play the audio the visualizer is for presenting the audio you know i'm using for that um fast fourier library here which you will not need to read or understand these classes here because they are completely you know they are very complicated they have been written by chris fudaleushi which is a russian guy and um, i have not yet touched them a lot only a bit because i was curious so okay uh these libraries here are for fast fourier transform and are returning some variables which we are using to draw the visualizer well so here it is the player for playing the audio here it is the libraries for fast fourier transform here are the classes for uh, visualizer and um, okay let's go again on the player example so what i'm doing here is after creating these two instances i want on the string player to add a listener so i'm adding the stream player listener which is an interface which is being constantly updated by stream player you can see here when the uh, status of the stream player is changing the status updated method is called and as you can see here i have overrided these methods here so i know what happens so when the uh, status of the stream player is changing for example when the player is opened or stopped I can catch it into the status updated method and uh, when the player is opened I am I set up the visualizer and I'm starting it DCP means uh, digital signal processing if you are curious and I am uh, yes i'm starting the visualizer and then i am starting an animation timer from the javafx here it is the code which is repainting constantly the oscilloscope here well yes and when the status is stopped i'm stopping the digital signal processing thread that's a thread behind so you know when i'm starting digital signal processor here in the visualizer model you can see that it is starting uh, let's go deep into the code okay it is starting a thread which is doing the processing well that's about how i'm starting and stopping the visualizer well inside now the stream player when the audio is playing let's go on the stream player on the top the stream player it implements runnable and it is uh, running on an external thread so the main application doesn't hang doesn't lag so inside the run method here let me check it run okay find well this is the run method of stream player inside it i am constantly notifying all the interfaces the listeners that i have added look here in the player example i have added this listener to the stream player this now listener is notified inside the run method of the stream player with different variables that i need and when it is notified this method is called which is named progress and i'm passing the variables that i'm getting from stream player 
to the digital signal processor and uh, that's how I have uh, different uh, variables for the visualizer okay well um, I will stop this tutorial here